is BJP's Rajyavardhan Singh Rathor, sitting Member of Parliament from Jaipur Rural Constituency. He is now in the fray for a Vidhan Sabha election from Jotwara. <laughs> अब एक प्रश्न पूछता हूँ मैं यहाँ मीडिया भी है आप सभी जनता है मोदी जी पे विश्वास किस किस को है हाथ खड़ा करके बताइए मोदी जी पे विश्वास किस किस को है बोलिए भारत माता की How's the campaign going? The campaign is going very nice. It's good fun. I've been campaigning for the last 55 days because I, mine was the one of the initial announcements. Mm -hmm. So we've been on in the campaign. It's great fun meeting loads of people, uh, being amongst them, and uh, the fact that we are winning and we're winning hands down in the entire state, which also gives us a great amount of confidence. Mr. Rathor, the fact uh, that you know you fought an MP election first, we heard you in the speech as well, this is an MLA election. Mm -hmm. Is this a tad bit more difficult than fighting a Lok Sabha election? No, no, the degree of difficulty, you can't compare these things in terms of degree of difficulty. It's just a different playing field. Mm -hmm. The game is different, that's about all. But uh, both are fun. Um, What's the difference this time? Uh, okay, so uh, in the MLA elections, is the amount of... Uh, the layers which you have to go deep. You have to touch every single person. So my, in my campaign, I'm going to every single dhani. Uh, I'm trying to meet every single person. And uh, it's it's much uh, greater interaction. So that is the main difference. In the Lok Sabha elections, your MLAs and your Kada is fighting and you are touching everybody just at the, at the, at the surface level. Right. You know, taking off from there, and, and election for an MP, a Lok Sabha election for the Bharatiya Janata Party is a lot about the Prime Minister and Modi. You invoked him a couple of times right now in your speech. But this election is going to be you. It's all about you and your connect with the people. Not really. So the point is that uh, if the country has to move ahead, there is a demarcation of responsibility for the state and the centre. Mm -hmm. For example, water, um, education, sports, is a state subject, right? So the center can allot funds for it, the center can make schemes for it, but at the end of the day, it is the state that has to execute it. Right. For a lot of schemes, the, say, the state is responsible to execute it. That is the difference. So when Prime Minister wants this country to move ahead, and he sends, for example, funds for Jal Jeevan Mission to Rajasthan, and he sends 29,000 crores to Rajasthan, and it doesn't get utilized. Only, only 8,000 crore gets used. And even in that, there is massive amount of corruption. Water has not reached these places. Prime Minister had given a deadline of 2024, but the water has not reached. So therefore, it is equally important for the Prime Minister, For if people have to give strength to the Prime Minister, then a government that works in sync with the central government is extremely important. The entire country is in support of Prime Minister, and therefore this election is as important as the national election for schemes to reach these people. Last uh, two questions I'm going to take, Colonel uh, Rathor. Um, you know, you've been charged uh, by the incumbent government, which is the Bharatiya Janata Party, of uh, A, them setting the narrative and you following it up in terms of your manifesto seems or reads like, as per them, a copy of the Congress schemes. Uh, you know, if they're offering 500 for cylinder, you're offering 450. Uh, you know, if you're offering X amount of money to the women, uh, you know, they're offering more. So they're saying it's a copy of that, one. The other charge that you're being uh, leveled with is you're running a campaign of polarization while they are talking about development. Oh, that's very interesting. And uh, I'm glad that you brought up this question because uh, you brought it up because people would want to know the answer to this. So the answer is very simple. If you give, uh, let's say, uh, PM uh, Kisan Samman Nidhi, the 6,000 rupees that goes to the farmers, immediately after you come into power, right? That's, that is different than you offering them money two months before the election. If you give them free gas cylinders and free gas immediately after you come into power, it is different than giving them after registration, right? And I'll explain that right now, two months before the elections. If you provide them, say, laptops or anything, 
digital connectivity in the entire country, which is at an unprecedented high speed, as soon as you come into power and you bring down the cost of data to the barest minimum in the entire world, immediately after coming to power, it's different than you distributing mobile phones two months before your elections. Got the difference? That is a massive difference. So, interestingly, people must hear this. The Congress government, two months before the election, says, we will provide you 100 units of free electricity. And 2,000 for farmers. Uh, 2,000 units for farmers. Uh, 2,000 yeah. units for farmers, 100 units of yeah. free electricity. If you register with us, very nice, fantastic. Are people not registered? Every bill is as per mobile phone. So every client who gets electricity is registered. But they say, no, you come and register with us. Us means Congress. And so in gas cylinders, 65,000, 65 lakh gas cylinders, uh, sorry, 65 lakh people are receiving gas connection in Rajasthan. Only 14 lakh got registered with Congress, which means the Congress will give only 14 lakh people, those who are in a way uh, accepting Congress membership. Is that how government of Rajasthan? You're Rajasthan? saying it's a bribe. It's a, it's a bribe. It's an absolute bribe. Now we come to the polarization. Lovely question. It is the Rajasthan government that issues a letter, an official letter, which says that there will be no electricity uh, shortage of supply because so and so community is having a festival, right? At the same time, Ram Navmi was also happening. But the Congress government does, could, they could have easily said for Ram Navmi and for this festival, there should not be any electricity short supply. But when a government offers a letter, issues a letter like this, it is appeasement. When Congress government says, we are offering pattas, we are offering land to all the Malvis, it is appeasement. If you say we are offering pattas and land to all the religious teachers, we can understand it. When the Congress government uh, brings down the Ram Darbar in, at Salasar and brings down the Shiv temple, which is 300 years old, by, by a bulldozer, it is incorrect because that is not the way to remove a religious place. And there are enormous number of examples like this. PFI, a banned organization, marches in Rajasthan in police protection. But when Ram Navmi is being celebrated, the Rajasthan government imposes uh, uh, Section 144. You have to take permission ki bhajan kaun sa bajega, you know, which <laughs> hymn is going to... Bhajan kaun sa bajega, iski anumati leni padegi ab Rajasthan sarkar se. Itna to angrezo ne bhi ni kara. To shuru kis ne kara hai? Achha, ye bhi aur bata deta hon. Sanatan dharm dengu hai, sanatan dharm malaria hai. Ye hum ne ka kya? Kis ne ka? Aur kiyo ka? The water that has to go to every household does not um, uh, sort of uh, separate out any of the religious communities. It goes to everyone. When PM Awas has to be made, it goes to everyone.